this video, we'll discuss a really cool way to summarize data in multiple worksheets or multiple workbooks called Data Consolidate. So we've got two files you should open east and west after opening a blank workbook, and we see them all on the screen. So here's the West Coast sales of a product in January, February, and March, and the products are A through H, so we have all the transactions listed. Here's the East Coast sales, products A through H again in January, February, and March, and we'd like to combine this in a summary worksheet. And the beauty of this might be if you add new data, you would like the summary to automatically update, and it will if you use Data Consolidate, even if the summary worksheet or workbook is closed, which is really cool. So for instance, we have two regions here, but you might have a worksheet for each of 50 states, and you want to combine those into a single summary sheet that would add up total sales of every product in each of the 50 states. Now, all you need to do is make sure that when you have the headings across the columns, they are typed the same. Like, don't type J-A-N in one worksheet and January in another, but the order doesn't matter. You could have February 1st in this worksheet and February 2nd in this worksheet. Okay, so go to your blank worksheet. Okay, and then we're going to go to Data tab. Data Tools. Because I've shrunk this and it's consolidated. Okay, now I can do a sum. I could do an average. I've never done anything other than sum. So you pick out first. You click here on the East Coast stuff. You go to the bottom and you click Add. Okay, now you erase that. Or that was the West Coast stuff, sorry. So now you click, go in the reference and you click on the East Coast file. And you click Add. And you say top row, left column, create links to source data, and it should be done. Okay. Now there we see the summary there. Okay. So for instance, we see 1317 here. What would this mean? That 1317 would mean in February of product day, we sold 1317 if you added everything in both worksheets. Okay. Now let's show you this updates automatically. Suppose I go here and add a 363, okay, now that should be a 1417 now. See, that's a 1417. It added the 100 there. If I did product B in January, that's 890, and if I would add 100 there, that should become 990. See, that changed automatically also. So even if this workbook was closed, it would update automatically. So this is a very powerful way to combine stuff in multiple workbooks or worksheets. And we'll see more of this, how you could do that when we talk about pivot tables and about the indirect function. But a pr very problematic thing in Excel is how do you combine stuff from different worksheets and different workbooks? But data consolidate does give you one method. So basically you open up all the worksheets you want to consolidate, you add the ranges, and a little tip, if you think you're going to add data, add some blank rows below where you might add data because then the data consolidate will pick up those rows automatically. Okay, so then you add all, let's say if there are 50 states, you'd have to add the range for each of the 50 states once, one time, but then you'd never have to do it again and the summary worksheet would always update. Okay, so in the next video, we'll start talking about database statistical functions, which is another way to summarize data. A bit more cumbersome, but it also, database statistical functions do some things that our other tools do not. So it's worth having that tool in your repertoire. Okay, so thanks for watching. And, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston. Um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews. Uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here, and with that one, you can see it's 4 point something, or maybe even 5, I don't think it's 5, yeah, 4.8, and so yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there, but again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know, thanks.